All right, good morning, Mount Zion. Welcome to another week of going through Ephesians with uh, Pastor Dave and I. Uh, we're glad that you're here, and we just, Pastor Dave just taught on Ephesians chapter 2 this past weekend, so we're going to be diving in today. Um, Pastor Dave's going to read a little bit in a, uh, one verse in Ephesians 1, uh, 21, and then we're going to jump into Ephesians 2. All right, so in Ephesians 1, 21, it says... Uh, Far above all rule and authority, power and dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in the present age, but also in the one to come. And then chapter 2, verses 6 and 7, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus, all right? So in the coming ages, our two of those uh, are in a couple of those verses on where we're gonna be and what's coming ahead. Mm -hmm. So the heavenly realms and the ages. Yeah, some people kind of get a little bit hung up with the heavenly realms thing. It doesn't really feel like right now being in quarantine that we're seated with Christ yeah. in heavenly realms, does it? Tell me about it. Yeah, <laughs> not at all. Uh, <laughs> are so we gonna have to stay home in heaven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, being wouldn't mind being in quarantine there. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be bad. <laughs> no, no. So what we're seeing here, well, in the in the Jewish mindset, they kind of had the, this two two age theology, and what we see kind of with the cross that these ages, um, the new age is broken in because of what Jesus has done and through His redemption, the age to come is is been established because He's establishing His kingdom. Very um, good. Yeah. So the seated in heavenly places, we've talked about last week a little bit that already not yet um, thing. So we have similar, I guess, pictures of this in, in Romans chapter eight. Um, Paul says that we're adopted and we can call out Abba Father. Yet at the same time, he says we're eagerly awaiting our adoption. And then he talks about us eagerly awaiting glory yet in Romans 8.30, it's, uh, it's used in the past tense that we're already glorified. So he kind of has this overlapping thing because of what Christ has done. What's going on right now and when we, when we believe in him is a picture and actually a reality of what's going to happen in the future. Very good. Um, I think of it as a legal paper in a sense or where our position is. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly realms you know my name's written our names are written in the lamb's book of life right mm -hmm. and that's it's almost it's like it's a legal fact that i belong to christ and i'm going to be with him mm -hmm. but i haven't realized it to the full extent but i do realize it here mm -hmm. you know my life has changed and is changing and i'm drawing closer to god every day so that's the already but not yet it's like uh the deal's done and Jesus paid for it. Yep. It's just I haven't taken full possession of my mansion in heaven yet. Yeah, the uh, the renewing of creation in our new bodies and our resurrection hasn't quite yeah. happened yet. I mean, we're spiritually resurrected that. and that, <laughs> but we're we're still awaiting awaiting the physical part of it. Um, so yeah, so I I really I really like um, that. And in the Mediterranean mind, and I'm working a lot on this in my my thesis is the way that they thought about i guess trajectories of the future so what 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 happened in the present was in that culture distinctly connected with the future so if you are this way now your track is going to meet up with that in the future so you can think of both as a reality in the present very good very good i right now what the lord's telling me is if you look at the contrast the first verses in, in chapter two and, and all throughout, you know, Paul keeps saying, you were this, but you are this now. Mm -hmm. And in comparison, think about us being in the heavenly realm and think about the transgressors and the people dead in sin where they would be. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking really forward, Matt, to our heavenly realm compared to theirs. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining us today, everybody. Um, tomorrow, we will be diving into um, 
basically what is the gift in Romans 2, 8, and 9? Is it faith? Is it grace? Is it salvation? We're going to dive into that. So thanks for joining us. Uh, stay safe and have a great day. Amen.